and let's start off with this. Acquire a water bottle that is smooth and approximately 0.2 millimeters to 0.3 millimeters in thickness. Use an X-Acto knife to make an incision into the water bottle. Following that, use some scissors to cut the bottom of the water bottle off. Don't forget to leave a small starter ribbon for the poly cutter to eat through. Feed the initial ribbon into the poly cutter. Then I would recommend flipping the poly cutter upside down and then pull on the initial ribbon you just inserted. Keep pulling until the entire water bottle becomes ribbon. Cut one end of the ribbon thin enough to be fed into the extruder of the polyformer. Starting with the other end you did not cut, feed the ribbon into the ribbon cartridge. Next step, turn on the polyformer. Attach this to the back, and while it is heating up, I'm gonna set everything up for the extrusion process. So while it's heating up, I'm gonna place this here, and clamp this down. Okay, temperature is at 200. And climbing, let's get this ready. Feed the ribbon into the extruder until you can see a tiny bit come out of the nozzle. Then use pliers to grab that tiny bit and pull. Manually extrude a little bit until there is enough to be inserted into the spool attachment. I have here an upgraded version of the spool attachment. You can see my previous videos to see how I made it. This part is by no means mandatory. You can extrude manually until the spool attachment is long enough to be attached to the actual spool. So now I'm gonna bring this over and make it go under here, bring it over to the other side, and over here I'm going to clip it on to that, like so. If you do not have the upgrade, simply screw the extruded filament onto the spool attachment. Then manually pull until it is long enough for the spool attachment to be attached to the spool. There you go. If your polyformer is in perfect working order, the motorized spool will keep turning until all of the ribbon has been turned into filament. And we're done. It's still going, but we don't need it to go anymore. So we're gonna go here and just click this. And you can tell the temperature is gonna start to drop. Now that you have the filament loaded onto the spool you're gonna be using to feed into your 3D printer. I just kind of cut here actually. One of the things you'll notice with all the filament that's extruded from water bottle is that they have a tube, whereas regular ones don't. That seems to be okay. So now we're preheating this to 260 degrees because on all our PET or recycled PET, you gotta print at 260 or higher. And that is the filament. Straight from a water bottle. See from the bottom here that it's at 270. Uh, 260 works fine, 270 works just a little better, so that's what we're printing this at 270. And that's the entire process. There might be some impurities that will clump near the nozzle, but so far it has not really affected my prints. One last tip, if you are going to be printing with recycled PET, please make sure your room is well aerated. So that's what it looks like there. And then usually what happens after this is I unload filament. And this is what the filament looks like. If you cut this part off, you can tell right after that initial bit, it goes right back to the tube again. So yeah, that's the whole process.